Awesome, hey guys, it is absolutely awesome that you've clicked on this video once again. Yes, I'm wearing another cap because I'm having just another terrible hair day. My hair is just absolutely everywhere, so we're just gonna hide that from the camera. But guys, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to watch my reviews really does mean the world to me. You guys are awesome, and I love you. And so today we are gonna to be talking about A Christmas Prince, The Royal Baby. Cool, so this film is a sequel to the original, which I have never watched. I'm just gonna throw that out there. And in this film, we follow Queen Amber, She's recently become queen, she's happily married, now she's pregnant, she's having to deal with this pregnancy while ruling her kingdom, and now also there's this huge peace treaty that's um, coming up. She's gonna to have to sign over this new peace treaty that's been going on for 600 years, and ultimately if this treaty doesn't get signed, then her, and this other, her country and this other country are going to go back into the state of war. And that's obviously something that they don't want to happen. So now she has to focus on making sure that the signing goes without a hitch, as well as looking after her baby. So there's a lot that goes on in this film. And when I say there's a lot that goes on in this film, there is a lot that goes on in this film. At times it really does feel just like a soap opera with all of the drama. There is so much drama in this movie. There are, there's like love triangles and there's thieves and there's deception and there's just, it goes at 120 miles an hour, which you know what? I guess it's entertaining in a way, but <laughs> everything that could possibly go wrong will go wrong at some point. That's, that's the type of form it is. There are some genuinely sweet moments. Um, there are some moments where you're like, I saw that coming. So there's some predictability, some unpredictability, but all in all, it feels like a movie that we've seen a hundred times. It's a feel good movie about someone coming into her own and um, accepting her new responsibilities while also making a change in the world. There's definitely a big theme that this movie tackles and that theme is tradition versus progression. You know, are we going to stick to the way that things have always been done because that's how things have always been done? Or are we going to modernize them? Are we going to progress them? Are we going to move in a more culturally friendly way, a more progressive way? And it was interesting that this movie decided to tackle that. Um, they kind of dropped that idea about halfway through the film. They bring it up a little bit at the end again, but at the beginning of the film, they really come and they make sure that it is hard hitting. Um, what they do have in this film is they've got two really strong female leads, both queens of their countries, and they are willing to do whatever it takes to make their countries succeed, and they want to rule their kingdom fairly. That was very interesting, and that was exciting to watch. It was a lot of fun to watch that. And this film is incredibly, incredibly beautiful. My word, the set design is incredible. One thing that really just stuck out to me was just how beautiful the snow was. And that's going to sound like a stupid observation, but here in South Africa, we don't get snow. We get snow like a tiny bit, maybe for like a day down near Cape Town. But everywhere else in the country, you will not get snow pretty much, unless you're also in the Drakensberg and you get lucky. So um, it was very nice to see the snow and the snow is in perfect contrast to the bright Christmas lights and all of the Christmas trees. There's just Christmas decorations everywhere. That is very, very pretty. I think the, the set design was done very, very well in that way. In terms of the performance, oof, um, Billy, come here quickly. Yeah? Tell the camera what you thought of the performances. I, I thought it was like really bad acting. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. <laughs> so Kimberly only joined me for, for the final third of the film. Um, and yeah, she was, she was playing with her Rubik's Cube. She was so much more entertained by this Rubik's Cube than the movie that was on screen. So that tells you something. Yes, I will, I will admit, there were a few times where I was like, that person's clearly acting. And I know they are actors, that's what they do. But as an actor, you're supposed to make someone believe that you're feeling the emotion and not just acting. Like, if someone's experiencing heartbreak, I want to feel heartbreak. I don't want to go, yes, that person's acting like they should feel heartbroken if you know what I mean. So there were lots of scenes where I was just like, yep, that person's acting, not believing that, that um, performance at all. And that happened a few times, which I'm quite disappointed by. So yeah, guys, that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look, it is a very pretty film. It didn't change my life in any way, shape or form. It definitely had some very, very big pros. I like the fact that it had strong female leads. That was really, really cool. But then at the same time, I left the film going, hmm, okay, awesome. Um, of course, I understand that at the same time, I'm definitely not the target market for this film. I'm definitely not the demographic that the film was aimed towards. So I do understand that. But guys, I just want to say thank you. You guys are awesome. If you did enjoy this review, leave it a like. Do not be afraid to subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. I'll see you around. <music>